Yes guys, if you are watching this video, that means you love your father. Because as I mentioned in thumbnail, I just lost my father. Now let me tell you one thing, why I'm making this video. You know, every single person like me, like you, who are chasing their dream. You know, what's, what's wrong with chasing dream? When we chase dream, our family, our friends, they don't believe in our vision, okay? So there is no way out except to work uh, all alone. You've got to work alone, okay? Rarely it's happened that yeah, your family supports in your dream, your friends, your society believes in you, okay? It's very rare. So usually what happens, almost all of us, those who chase dream, we have to be alone. We have to be alone. So I still remember 2015, I left my home and I gone Qatar and since then I gone Dubai and Abu Dhabi means I will keep doing what I think I should do for my dream. Meanwhile, I, you know, I, means I had lost contact with my family. I wasn't talking with my father. I wasn't talking with my family. And now it's too late. It's too late. And the reason I'm feeling so guilty, that's why I decided to make this video to, to, not, you know, to not let you do mistake what I have done it. Every single person on earth, every single son on earth, they lose their father for only once. My father just died. My father was in India. They live in India. And I am still in Abu Dhabi. I didn't get to see my father for last time. I didn't get to say goodbye. And that guilt is killing me from inside, you know. And the reason I'm guilty because I hadn't talked with my father for two years. The last time I talked with my father, it was two years back. And the reason it happened because you know, my father used to smoke too much, my father used to drink too much and he used to fight too much in home. So ever since I kept my father in rehab, he never liked me, you know. And it become, you know, there's a really saying that yeah, till there is something, we don't understand the value of it. Once it's lost, then we realize the value of the thing we have lost. That's what happened, you know. Can you imagine my father, he raised me for that long. In last, I didn't even get to see him. So those of you who are staying far from their family, and thinking that yeah, there will be one you know appropriate time that you will contact with them once that once your target is completed. That's what I was thinking. You know, you won't believe. When 2015, I gone to abroad. I knew that yeah, I'll resign. I knew. Okay, but I didn't know that yeah, this journey will be that long. So I was keep lying to myself. I was keep saying to myself that yeah, I'll resign in uh, you know next two year, next two year. And by saying that, it's been seven year. So I'm gonna resign after six month. I'm gonna resign after six month. But I didn't get to see my father for last time. And we Hindu, as we know that yeah, we burn ourselves once we are dead. If my father was in grave somewhere, so I could have gone, I could have visited my father's grave. But now he's gone. I'm speaking all these things. I know that when I'll go in India, that's when I'll realize that I have lost my father because He's not in this world anymore. He's not in this world anymore. I didn't even get to see him for last time. You know, I was the reason I didn't talk with my father for two years because he was hating me. He was hating me for keeping him in rehab. I had kept him in rehab for his good, for his long life. And the reason died because of uh, kidney failure, lungs failure, because he was smoking too much, he was drinking too much, he was having weeds, he was doing all the dirty things which I wanted him not to do and that's why I had kept him in rehab. But thing didn't work out. It was too late. It was too late. So the only lesson I got from this, those of you who are waiting for their dream to be true, then you thinking that yeah, you will take care of your parent. You know, usually what happened, I can understand all of you, those who are chasing dream, I can understand because me too, I'm just like you. So when we chase dream, you know, we act of not, you know, giving value to our family. We act that yeah, they don't care, but we do care of them. We do care. The only reason we don't talk to them, we you know, we distance ourselves from them because that's the only one way. You know, we think that yeah, once our dream is completed, then you know we will buy them a good car, we will buy our parent healthcare, whatever. We don't talk with our parent, not just because we hate them, it's because it's because we are waiting for something to be true. But the bitter truth is they are growing old. I didn't know that yeah, my my struggle will be that long. And it still is going on and still it will be going on. I cannot, I couldn't have said to God that please give my father for more six or seven months because if he would have survived more seven months, then at least I would have been in India. I would have seen him going. I would have taken care of him. 
but now it's too late. So those of you who are waiting for their dream to be true, then you're waiting to show your love to your parent. It might be too late. I've lost my parent. I've lost my father. But if your parents are alive, then don't wait to call them, so to say them, to talk last time because it's been too late for me now. I cannot talk ever with my father. But for you, please, 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 if your father is alive, then call him. And if you ever hurted him, ask sorry. And please ask for forgiveness. Please, please, please ask for forgiveness. Because that guilt, you know, you can, you know, you don't understand. People will move on, you know, people will move on. Even my family, my big brother, they will move on. But my guilt is killing me that I didn't get to ask forgiveness. I wanted to say him that, yeah, you know, don't hate me just because I kept you in rehab. I kept you for your good. I know it's, it, it was impossible for him to see the good behind me keeping him in rehab. But trust me, I kept him in rehab for his good. Once I kept him in rehab, all hated me. All hated me. No one support. No one really liked me. I really, you know, still I don't realize that my father has really gone out of this world because my daily activities never been changed. I was coming on duty, going, sleeping. Same thing I've been doing still. I know so many changes have been done. I know that yeah, once I will go to India, then I'll realize the lack of my father's presence in home. All I'm saying, please, 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 if your parent is alive, call them, talk to them once in a while, just call them. I was very strict on me. I was thinking that yeah, if I will call them, they will ask money and I will be you know, distracted from my target. So it's been seven years I've been working on one project and uh, I didn't want to be distracted. So that's why I didn't call them. Even when they called me that your father is, you know, father is hospitalized, I thought it's okay, everything will be okay. But I didn't know that yeah, he will be just, you know, he will be gone, he will be dead without seeing me. So all I'm saying, take care of your parents and talk with them if they are alive. Because once they're gone, accept guilt, there will be nothing in your mind to do. And I have to die with this guilt. Do you know I have to die with this guilt that my father hated me he didn't get to see me, I didn't get to see him, and he gone hating me. Can you imagine, my father gone out of this world hating me that, yeah, I was a bad person. I never got to show myself that, yeah, what I really was, what I, what was my real intention behind keeping him in rehab. So all I'm saying, don't do that mistake which I did it. In, in last, I just want to say only one thing, that father, please be happy wherever you are, and very soon we will meet, very soon we will meet.